I'd like to welcome everybody again this uh, beautiful Thursday afternoon and I like to thank you for again uh, being with me and joining me at this time and in this way we can have fellowship although online lang but I like to thank you for uh, this moment that you are giving because I know the Lord is always good the Lord is always a good God and you have to remember that he is always faithful he is always faithful to you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He is the God who is always taking good care of us. Now, without much further ado, let me go to our discussion. And we've been talking about understanding God. And particularly, we have been looking at the character of God. In fact, we already have seen... Uh, about 11 of them, and let me go through all these uh, characters that we have discussed uh, already. God is good, God is loving, God is faithful, God is righteous, God is holy, God is immutable, God is self-sufficient, God is eternal, God is merciful and compassionate, God is gracious, and God is omnipotent. God is all-powerful. He is never limited that's the last thing that we have talked about and so i believe that uh, that uh, discussion had helped you a lot to understand that his power is never limited especially in helping us in times of uh, difficulties and problems now let's go to our 12th study and this has to do with the omnipresent character of god the god that we believe in is omnipresent now, when we say that God is omnipresent, it means that God is present everywhere or that He occupies all things. Remember that word omni is a Latin word that means all, plus you got the word present indicating that God is all present or that He encompasses everything in this universe. This term signifies that God is capable of being everywhere at the same time. It means that His divine presence is actually occupying and uh, encompassing the whole universe. There is no location where He does not inhabit or rather inhabit. So in everything, we have to understand that uh, he can be anywhere he can be in in every part of this world he has that uh, capability however uh, this being everywhere and occupying all things happen all at the same time sabay sabay sa saktong panahon god is in all places at all times he is capable of being everywhere all at the same time. So, ang kanyang uh, divine presence, yes, encompasses the whole universe and there is no location where He does not inhabit all the time. Right now, uh, kung gagamitin natin, uh, bigyan ko example, His presence is here in the Philippines. But at the same time, He is also there in India in Africa, in the U.S., in Europe, and everywhere in the world. His presence is never limited in one spot. Hindi lang isang lugar where we can uh, be with God, or where we can worship God. We can worship Him everywhere. And we can worship Him at the same time. Like you can worship God if you're watching from the U.S., and I am here in the Philippines. We can worship God together right at, exact, at this exact moment. We can worship God at the same time right now. Here's a passage in Jeremiah 23 that shows how God is omnipresent. Jeremiah 23 verses 23 to 24. Am I... Only a God nearby, declares the Lord, and not a God far away. Can anyone hide in secret places so that I cannot see him, declares the Lord. 
Do I not fill heaven and earth, declares the Lord or declares Jehovah. So look at the sentence, do I not fill heaven and earth? Now that word fill uh, in Hebrew speaks of being full. So both heaven and earth are full of God. God occupies them all with His presence, all at the same time. Now, Psalm 139, this also gives us a detail of this fullness. Verses 7 to 10. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up there to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the, of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. So sabi ng psalmist, kahit saan ako pumunta, nandroon ka. Maybe I go to the heavens or uh, the depths of the earth, you are always present. I will rise in the wings of uh, the dawn or settle on the other side of the sea. Even there, your hands will guide me. Ibig sabihin, the Lord will always be watching over us everywhere because He is there every time, every moment. Amos also has a similar thing to say. Chapter 9, 9 to 3. Though they dig down to the depths of the grave, from there my hand will take them. Though they climb up to the heavens, from there I will bring them down. Though they hide themselves on the top of Carmel, there I will hunt them down and seize them. Though they hide from me at the bottom of the sea, God will also be there. Okay? He is always uh, there. Everywhere we go, dilita makaskapo sa iyang presensya. We cannot escape from the presence of God. He is everywhere. We cannot hide anything from Him. Just like uh, you re- I, I, if you have, you've been reading the prophets uh, when they were backsliding, because I've just gone through Jeremiah and uh, Isaiah, and uh, the people of Israel, when they were backsliding, they were trying, uh, uh, they were worshipping other gods at night time where it was dark because they were trying to hide from the presence of God. And sabi, niya, sabi nila, hindi kami makikita, hindi kami makikita rito ng Diyos. Well, God says, uh, are you fooling me? I am present. God is present everywhere. So, in both passages like sa Isaiah, uh, uh uh, Psalm 139, sorry, and Amos uh, 9, both passages, we can see how we cannot really run away from the presence of God. He is everywhere, and no one uh, can hide from Him. So Joshua chapter 2, here is Rahab, the former prostitute, and she has this to say, When we heard of it, our hearts melted and everyone's carriage failed because of you. For the Lord your God is God in heaven above and on earth below. So she is saying, your God occupies heaven and the earth at the same time. So the understanding is God is everywhere. Kahit sa ang lugar nandun ang ating Diyos. Be it... Uh, in the small island in the Pacific or in Africa, God is there. Hindi tayo makakatakas. But nonetheless, let me just uh, talk about this. This is not pantheism. Pantheism is a belief that reality is similar or identical with divinity. Yes, God is everywhere in the universe, but God is not the universe. You're picking my point. Yan ang belief ng pantheism. God is everywhere and God is the universe. Well, He is not the universe. He occupies the universe. A tree is not a God. 
He is not a forest. God is not a mountain. The thing here is that, sabi nila, since God is in a tree, we can worship God or we can worship the tree. Or since God is an, is, uh, an insect, we can worship the insect. Lahat na lang sinasabi nila, Diyos. That's pantheism. Okay? God is everywhere, but uh, He is not the very thing uh, that uh, people see and identify as God. Like halimbawa, ang mga Hindu, they believe that uh, the cow is God. So they don't uh, kill the, the cow, they don't eat the cow, dahil Diyos nila ang cow. So these are foolish things. This understanding or belief is not similar to uh, how God is omnipresent. Omnipresent simply means God is everywhere and we can worship Him everywhere. There is no exact place, therefore, to worship God. This is what Jesus said to the Samaritan woman in John chapter 4, 21 to 24. Jesus declared, Believe me, woman, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You Samaritan worship what you do not know. We, we worship what we do know for salvation is from the Jews. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is a, a spirit and His worshipers must worship uh, in spirit and in truth. So walang lugar, exact place where we must worship God. God wants us to worship Him in spirit and in truth because He is everywhere, okay? You can be in Daba worshiping right now and later on you go to Tagum and worship God there and then later on in the evening you are in Cebu and you worship God still there. There is no part on the earth that we cannot worship God. His presence is everywhere. His spirit is in Davao and it is also there in Manila. Amen? So, these are things that we are to understand with regards to God's omnipresence. But there is, there is more that we can apply to this presence. And uh, let me talk to you about three things uh, before tayo mag end. Firstly, since God is all present, we are never alone. Okay? The omnipresence of God assures us always that we are never alone. His presence is always with us. Remember what uh, Jesus said prior to the ascension when He spoke about the Great Commission in Matthew 28, verse 20. The last part says, And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. I will be with my people. I will be with my church until the end of the age, until He returns, until everything that God has uh, set up for the end time will happen. Here is an assurance. So, if uh, you're suffering from loneliness, that can ever uh, that, that that can be dealt with by the ever-present God. His presence is always available, and uh, we will. Uh, he will always be the source of comfort when we feel alone. I uh, we we know that God. Uh, will go with us and this will always uh, assure, assure us na kahit anong problema maybe we are in the most difficult situation God is always with us God's presence abides with us San kaman pumunta even though in, the new, in your most difficult situation your God will be there with you His presence will always uh, stay with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. And second, uh, since God is all present, we can all be encouraged. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. This is God's word to Joshua. 
Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Our God will be there. He is not a guy who abandons us. So here is the assurance of God to Joshua. Whatever you set your foot on, I will be there uh, with you. So do not be afraid. Do not be terrified. Your God will be there with you. And so sa atin, baka encourage yung thought na yan. That, uh, you know, our God will never relinquish us. Hebrews 13 verse 5, same thing here. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So, this is at the moment that you may have need financially. Don't, don't be entangled with the love of money. And be content with what you have because God's presence will always be there to provide for you. He will not abandon you even in the most difficult situation that you are in. So you never resort to loving money but always loving God. Always adoring Him. That is something that can uh, encourage us every time. Our God stays with us no matter what our problems may be. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. And look at the word never. It's uh, absolute. Absolutely God will never leave us. Absolutely God will never forsake us. Amen. And the third, since God is all present, we cannot hide from Him. We already have looked at Psalm 139, 7 to 10, and Amos chapter 9, 2 to 3. Here, we have to understand that God sees whatever we do in public and whatever we do in secret. We cannot hide from Him when we sin. There is no secret in God because He is always present. And this is a warning to everybody. Warning sa atin na walang naitatago sa mata ng Diyos. Hindi tayo makakatakas. We cannot escape from the presence of God because He is everywhere. He is in your uh, room. He is in uh, even in the CR. He is in a motel. He is in a hotel. Hindi ka pwede magtago doon. God is there. So, uh, be warned, everybody. We cannot sin and say, God has not seen me. God sees us. His eyes are always wide open. And the presence of God is there. And I know that the presence of God will always convict us. He knows when uh, uh, you stop a needle into your arm. And even though that may be a dark place, God knows it. God knows kung sino kasama mo kagabi with your barkada and your drinking. So, all we have to do is come to God. Kahit saan tayo pumunta, nandiyan ng Diyos. Don't ever brush it from your mind. He is there, He's seeing you, and He is with you. And so, Christians, let's all uh, settle our hearts in this understanding that God is omnipresent. He is uh, present everywhere, occupies uh, things, but He is uh, not what the pantheists believe. He is always the great and the awesome God. And so, let's really serve Him seriously. Let Him serve Him with everything that we have and worship Him instead because we got that liberty everywhere. Makapag-worship tayo sa Lord anytime, anywhere. And we can be worshiping God all at the same time, even in the whole world. Okay? You may be in Africa right now. You may be in the U.S. You may be in uh, India. You can be in Indonesia and here in the Philippines. But at the same time, we can worship God and find ourselves 
being touched by God because the Bible says that the earth is his full stool while he takes residence in heaven. So he is everywhere. And I hope that we have learned something here uh, this time as we are looking at these omni things about God. And next time we'll talk about this, that God is omniscient. God knows everything, okay? So right now let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just want to thank you for your goodness and your blessings and uh, your love unto us, your people. Thank you for the word that we have received, adding to our knowledge of who you are. And I pray that everyone, Lord, will be encouraged that you are there with them. Everywhere you go, Lord God, you stay with your people for your presence uh, goes with us. Thank you, God, and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So, this is an important uh, topic, and uh, let's not uh, forget about this, okay? Now, those of you who are part of Praise Revival Center, again, I will encourage you to be faithful with your tithes and offerings, and come down here, bring them any time of the week, and... Uh, we will pray for you. And of course, uh, you can still do that by GCash or online services or bank to bank. Now, if you are not part of Praise Revival Center and you would uh, like to uh, bless us financially and support this ministry, yes, you can uh, also uh, uh, give online or bank to bank transfer or GCash again. It's uh, being flashed one time uh, again uh, for you to look into if you're not part of Praise Revival Center. Praise God. So, at uh, this time, magpapaalam na ako and I hope that uh, you have received something from the Lord and uh, we will uh, talk about God's omniscience uh, this coming Monday and the Lord's blessings be upon all but uh, upon us all but don't forget uh, Friday night and Saturday and Sunday services. Praise God. Lift up your hands. Father God, we just want to thank you for everything that you have done and uh, all the things that we have received. May it always be in our lives. And bless those people who are giving their tithes and offerings to you sometime this week. May you accompany them with your love and your goodness and abundance, O oh God. And may Yehovah bless you and keep you. May Yehovah Make His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May Jehovah lift up His countenance upon you and grant you His peace. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, God bless you all and uh, shalom to everybody. God be with us in every way.